In today's session, we are going to discuss about the charts. Okay. We know that till now so far, we have done some basic charts. I just wanted to recap them one more time to have a one short look about that. Okay, fine. Um, we have seen the line graphs and then the show me. We can see there are nearly 24 visualizations that we could see over here. But other than this, we have many other things actually. We have many other charts even. Okay. Like don donut charts and funnel charts, gun charts, bump charts, box plot, waterfall charts, something like this. Anyhow, but we are going to first cover all the charts that whatever that we do have over here today. Okay. And then we will be discussing about the advanced charting whatever the charts that we are left be behind we are going to discuss about them okay all of you let us uh, jump on to this and let us explore this so we already know that um, we discuss about the table chart text table chart but still i am going to re 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 uh, review all this uh, chart charts just in five to ten minutes and then i will just go ahead <clears throat> so if you can take a look at this one the very first thing that i'm going to talk about this as see um i wanted to see the country wise This is a maps actually. I want to see the sum of sales. This is a country wise. Let me just expand a state wise. This is a state wise stuff. Where I just wanted to see the color wise format. The very one which is dark in color, showing the highest number of sales, whereas the rest of the stuff that you could see that minimum number of sales over here. So this is this one that I could consider as. We just delete this country. Maps. For example, I just wanted to see the profit ratio on what? city by city I want to see the profit ratio by colored so you could clearly understand that how it is showing the representation of this particular graph. <clears throat> Symbol maps. Okay. And I just wanted to see the 
the customer name and the sales that happen for each customer. It generally is going to be a basically a table chart. This is the table chart, a very plain table chart. Okay. This is a plain table chart. Otherwise, if you wanted to check something like category wise, segment wise, see, this is a segment wise table chart. Okay. This one I'm just considering it as a table chart. Next one. I wanted to see category, otherwise rather I could say the subcategory wise, profit ratio followed by profit okay. by order date I'm just wanted to expand it in terms of the quarter rather in terms of the month wise okay and i just wanted to make this one as a continuous stuff rather this is going to be a little bit See, you could see that the month, this is a bar chart that you could clearly observe. I have colored the profit ratio. You could see that profit is in the losses. There is no profit. And the sum of profit it is representing, okay, in terms of the size. If you wanted to decrease the size, you can decrease the size, something like this. Okay, and you are you are able to see that all the stuff, how the profits was spread across the all different uh, categories that we do have. Okay, I just wanted to name this one as a bar chart. Okay, next one, how? I know that I have a segment, right? Hmm? I have a segment, but how could I see that the sum of sales across the segment has how they are occupied? Go to the pie chart, okay? Size, you can increase the size. You can always try creating a set or grouping the data, or if you want to weave the data exactly, what exactly it is and all kind of stuff. And if you want to label this one, just drag the sum of sales onto the label. Okay. Otherwise, the detailing kind of stuff. It's already there anyhow. That we are not required to give it especially. Okay. This 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 one we could always try considering it as using the pie chart in the general environment. Hence I'm just considering it as a pie chart. Okay. 
Next one is stacked bar chart. See, whenever that you are moving your, your mouse, it is clearly showing up like how many dimensions, minimum or dimensions are the measures that, that they are required in order to build this chart and all kind of stuff. That is basic requirements, but you are not required to follow the same. Okay, anyhow that you are going to use them. I wanted to see something like a stacked bar chart. where here you can take a look the stacked bar chart represents the year wise see whenever you click on this you could show like one or more dimensions or one or more measures okay so i wanted to see the same profit by order date okay by increasing each and everything that you could see that how, how exactly that you are differing the stack to bar chart And I want to see a month wise. Okay, and okay, and I'm just trying to show you each quarter. Okay, and thereby it is a month wise. And you could see that everything by an year. See, there are four years, 2016, 18, 17, and 2015. So this is how it was spread across. All of you understand this one, guys? All of you got this? All of you got this? Till now so far, whatever that we have discussed. Madhu, Prashanti, Satya, Saujanya. Okay. So till now so far that we have seen till here. So we have something called tree maps. Okay. And uh, even circuit weaves, we will see that one. Let us try to cover the tree maps. How do we work with the tree maps? So here, when we are working with the tree maps, we have something like you can take a look at this.
see the sum of sales. Go ahead with the tree map. Understand? Which is the more in the sum of sales? Phones. Phones is the more in number of okay, sum of sales. You would clearly see that. Okay. Understand this one, guys? Three maps. No. I just wanted to see a packed bubble chart. How do I understand the packed bubble chart? We have something called a circle over here. Okay, we have a series of circles that we where we can make it to use over here. So let me just try using this category. And next one is okay, category and sum of sales. That's fine. So you could see that category wise data. Okay. We could see the category wise data and I wanted to see something like this. See, office supplies and furniture. For example, if I just wanted to expand instead of category, I just wanted to expand this one like this. It went to sub category. Understand? <clears throat> I just wanted to expand this one. You could see that how this was spread across. This is generally called as a pack bubble chart. Okay. So generally, we can make it by region detailing, detailing by the region. Okay, increase in vast it is of phones and kind of stuff like this. I don't want two text categories and all. Let me just make it as a category wise itself. So as a part of region wise, I have got the data something like this. Okay. Now I just wanted to drag the profit to this. So it is going to show me the colors in the profit. Why? Because I, I'm just more concentrating, like how much is the, the best profit that I'm going to get it, the technology and the office supplies. The profit of the office supplies is $52,000, and whereas the technology is $47,000. Okay. So even I just want this one in a region wise category. So I just wanted to drag this one to the label so you could see. Okay, now you could see that office supplies is the best one. Okay. This is how that you can do the bubble chart. Okay. Are all of you good with the bubble chart? When do we use this one? When you wanted to cluster the data in terms of circles okay and where each and every dimension defines the individual bubbles and measures the size and the color of each and every circle okay then we can go ahead with the packet bubble chart
ओके नेक्स्ट वन Now let us see something called a bullet graph. What do we mean by a bullet graph? Okay, we already have it. Something called a bullet graph over here. You could take a look at this one. This is called the bullet graph. You may not require it even a dimension, and you can go ahead only with the measures. Okay, generally this bullet graph. Why do we use this bullet graph? A bullet graph is something which is going to be a variation in the bar chart. where it will be showing you some sort of gauges where you can measure you can compare the performance of a previous measure something like you know uh, when we have seen the line charts you could see some of the light colored line charts and so you can compare it to the existing year line charts in the same way the bullet graphs will show you the previous earlier stuff and uh, current stuff how exactly it is uh, being used let me just try using a different uh, data for this one microsoft excel sheet and uh, table no It's okay, fine. We can download it even. No, not a problem. Word indicators, Tableau data set. You can always try downloading it. it's not available right now otherwise i should be getting it one yeah Let me check it out. we have it here actually here we do have the world indicators okay so here uh, why do we use i already discussed with you about the bullet graph how exactly that we can use it in order to compare the measurement of the performance of um, the primary measure and the uh, one or more measures when we do have okay 
know what I'm trying to do. If you can try to check here, you could see different businesses are there over here. Okay. Different businesses are there here. Out of which way I just wanted to try using the tourism in inbound. Okay. Which is going to be a region wise. Region wise tourism inbound. How many people are coming for the tourism? I am just going to going to select this one. Okay. And also I just want to see the sum of tourism outbound also okay so here Let me show you. We have tourism inbound and outbound. Okay. Where? I just wanted to use these two measures in order to show the bar chart. which is going to be a reason wise reason wise format okay We have one more measure here. Wait, exactly, we are missing here. Region, we are just tracking out of here. Why? Because as we know that when you are trying to, why? Because I just wanted to try the tourism outbound or the inbound based upon the see based upon the region wise if i'm going to use the inbound okay you could see the difference actually so where i just wanted to make this is how that i'm going to see See, whenever I just wanted to use something like I want to use something like a bullet chart, which is not enabling. OK, in order to enable that one, we need to have we have to select one more stuff. See, all these bar chart or the historical histogram chart will show you. Something. With only one measure, that is the main difference that we need to identify here. OK, see. If I'm going to select one more, then you could see there are other stuff which is going to be highlighted. So of course that it is highlighting the scatter plot, but still we have to go ahead and select the bullet graph. Once you select the bullet graph, 
it is showing that the previous performance in the green color and i'm just trying to drag out this region part in the rows that's it understand all of you guys All of you understand this one? Any questions here? Okay. Now I'm trying to uh, explain you about the You could see like I just wanted to show you like here one thing in the background you should be able to observe that okay whatever the grayed out in color is showing you the performance of this particular current chart what is tourism inbound and what is tourism outbound for example in the first one you could see that tourism inbound okay and what is in the second one you could see the tourism outbound and also here we need to understand one thing in this particular bullet graph you can always try understanding the reference lines how exactly that you want to uh, see the reference lines swap reference lines please see understand you can always try swapping the reference lines whatever that they are and you could see the x-axis is in terms of the billions 500 billion 1000 billion something like that i'm trying to swap the reference line fields see how it, how it was changed okay i just swapped it so again i just wanted to re-swap back if at all if i just wanted to edit this particular sort of distribution I can always try editing something called edit reference line. See, 60%, 80% of the average tourism outbound, something like this. If I just wanted to select this one, I can see which band that I, I just wanted to select, which line, something that I, I just need to select. You could see the differences. See how the distribution, this is a distribution model, and this is a box, box plot model. Okay, and this is a line model. There are different entities that, however, that we are working on this one. So it reference line, how does touring board distribution? Distribution refers to this one. Okay. So you would see the references, how exactly that you could identify the data. See how, how this data, gray color data. So you could see that reference lines in the background. Yeah, Saujanya, yes. They will they will try to, yeah. For example, there are some advanced charts. For example, business related charts. Okay, we generally use this chart and uh, also not only this one. Uh, we have some other uh, donut charts and the funnel charts. Okay, so there will be certain standards a company is already generally following. If, if at all, if you are going to uh, set some sort of, you know, standards, then it is you that you have to decide like which charts needs to be the best fitting in order to give the more statistic analysis of the business and all kind of stuff. Understand? So that's why, first of all, in order to go ahead with the funnel chart and all, all this kind of stuff, I just thought of, you know, in order to go ahead about the little bit of more advanced charting, I just wanted to discuss this constant line, average line and median with quartiles and totals. Okay. So this kind of stuff, one day I will just completely uh, do this one. Okay. So that analytics parts would be completed. Okay. And then we can jump on to the advanced charting. 
where I would be covering whatever it was not covered over so, so far to this, okay? Understand? Okay, guys, any questions in the today's session? We have literally, you know, went ahead with uh, almost different types of charts. Okay. We still have the couple of more charts. Okay, where we will go ahead. Before we are going ahead, I just wanted to... Uh, work on with this what do you mean by constant line what do you mean by an average line we need to work with this confidence intervals and the trending line and the forecast and how do we use the cluster how do we use the reference line reference bands why because just now we have seen this reference line and reference band and distribution band and box plot and all kind of stuff let us try to you know cover up these kind of stuff okay in the next couple of sessions then we will switch on to the advanced charting and then we will go ahead with the dashboarding okay all of you why because guys the charting is very important concept okay when we are doing the charting we need to we are expected that we know all this kind of uh, uh, analytics whatever that we just wanted to implement understand all of you hmm Okay, guys, if you don't have any questions, we will meet again tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow then. Thank you. Yeah, tomorrow I think that we most probably do have the session. Okay. A anyone is planning, uh, planning for a leave tomorrow? I mean, anyone have some, some other work unless and until? Madhusudan, Prashanti, Satya, and Saujanya. Please let me know so that we could decide on it. Otherwise, uh, shall we make? Shall, shall we? Shall we go for an off tomorrow? All of you, Madhu, Prashanti, Satya, Saujanya. Please confirm it as soon as possible. Okay then. Uh, okay, Prashanti and Saujanya tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow is off then. Okay, we will meet again day after tomorrow, which is going to be on Wednesday. Okay. Okay, fine. See you. See you day after tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.